New details, kids in schools are facing a number of dangers that most of us didn't when we were in the classroom. Wait 31's Alex Therese Perez explains how Limestone County schools are hoping to educate kids to make good decisions. It's definitely a pressing issue with drugs and vapes and alcohol and everything. Ashlyn Mullins knows what she needs to watch out for. But she didn't know about a hidden danger that's starting to impact kids, fentanyl. It's scary to think about for sure. Mike Reese is working with Operation Save Teens to educate kids about those hidden dangers. He says in his 40-year career as a state trooper, he never saw anything like it, especially now that it's being laced in everything from weed to vapes and even candy. We're always one half step away from a tragedy. A tragedy that's all too familiar to him after his son Matt overdosed by taking heroin laced with fentanyl. He was loving, he was kind, he was considerate. My son was raised from the time he was little, warned about drugs and alcohol and all, and he was one that made a bad choice. And then he the choices controlled him after that. Mike hopes by having this tough conversation, he can help prevent at least one kid from making those same bad choices. We want them to not ever die. We don't want them to overdose. We don't want them to become uh, the one that can't walk away from it. And so far, it's been effective. I would definitely think twice. Mike Reese will continue to give presentations to students and schools across Limestone County for the next two weeks. Reporting in Ardmore, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News. And this was the first year Operation Save Teen spoke to kids at Ardmore High School. The principal says they'll continue to have the conversation. He also urges parents to talk to their kids about making right choices.